Okay, there's Dan in the Kingdom, and we seen Johnny in town early yesterday, so that means he didn't bring the beer. But then again, they were having good snowstorms down south, okay, around that Winnipeg. Like, that's 1,200 kilometers away. Those guys seem to get all the storms, eh? But oh well. Okay, so today is nice and sunny and bright, and it's going to be above melting. Because this morning we woke up to minus 21 Celsius, but feels like minus 21. And there's no wind or anything. That sun is warm. Okay, on the yo-yo scale, minus 6 Fahrenheit, but feels like minus 6 Fahrenheit. Oh my, they got it correct. Okay, let's scroll this way. Okay, it's the start of the long weekend here in Canada because it's that Easter weekend. That's when the government takes four days off in a row. So that's when you come off the winter road and deliver things, you know, because the DOT people are sleeping, okay? They're government employees, so they don't work the weekend. So it's four days of freedom. Oh, it's bright. Okay. That's four days of freedom for us up here. Oh my goodness, I'm saying it and spraying at the same time. Okay, so, ah, oh, this is terrible. We can't see anything. Okay, but look at that. We got the cats all lined up back there, okay? That's why I don't mow the grass in the kingdom because I park everything everywhere. Okay, let's scroll this way. This sun's too way too bright. Okay, and it feels warm on the face, eh? Okay, all right. I can't see nothing here. Oh, this is terrible. Okay, but in my Winter Road book series, then the Easter long weekend, that's when we could go go places, okay? Because the DOT weren't around. And the DOT is just a tax grab for the government. Okay, a cop has to pull you over and have just cause to pull you over. But the DOT, they see you, they pull you over. And they make sure you get a pink piece of paper. But I write about that in my Winter Road book series. And my uh, life in the kingdom, okay? Because that's just a tax grab for the government. Okay, that's why we don't do anything anymore. And that's why I'm retired. Because I just sit around now, write books, and make YouTube videos. Okay, yeah, we still can't figure out YouTube. Like, nothing's changed on that. We're getting less and less views. I don't know what for, you know. Oh, well. But that's part of the course. Par for the course. Because we're documenting the cats and the slaves, okay? And then once we're done here, when the snow melts in June, we'll be doing other things, you know. Maybe go work on my boats or something or work on the airplane or I don't know. We don't make plans because they don't work out. Oh, that sun is warm. I can just feel it. All right. The boss is coming. We got to get to work because we're going to have some fun today. All right. Okay, after lunch in the kingdom, we got the green toy plugged in. We got the batteries in the whole shock charged up and ready to go. Yes, we have to take the batteries out and warm them up because they're junk. Welcome to the new world. Also, too, you notice the bright sun. The snow is melting where the darkness is. And over here, where it's white snow, it's still good. It's not melting. So that's why we don't want people driving in the kingdom with that road salt and making the snow dirty. And it'll melt for us because we still got weeks of fun up here. Okay, we're using the yard cameras on a quick overview of getting the green toy up and going. So you can see it over here. I don't know if my finger, where's my finger? Okay, there's the green toy and behind it is the 48 Chevy sedan delivery. It's been in the family since 1974. So I got the iPod on a tripod thing that's kind of crooked. I can't figure out why it's not that straight, but it's junk. It's cheap China crap or whatever Asian crap. So we'll film this and see how it turns out. I got my hat on, I don't know if you can see it. Here's my arm or whatever in the reflection on the screen. So my bald spot will not reflect off of the camera screen or the TV screen in the kingdom. Okay, so the staff is up on the green toy shoveling it off because of all the snow. And it's a warm day yesterday. So anytime we shoveled the snow off, it started melting right away. But she didn't shovel the operator's seat out very well because when I went to operate the crane part or the wrecker part later, it was way too much snow, I couldn't sit there. Oh, just a minor detail, but that's okay. So I'm going back and forth to put the batteries back in the green toy. Yes, we had to take the batteries out, put them in the hose shack for two days to warm them up, and then put a charge of two amps on them for eight hours. Yes, that's the joys of the new world we live in. We have to charge the batteries up before we use them. 
So basically we're living in the 1950s where we take the batteries in where it's warm and then take them back out to start the vehicle. Okay, the staff is in position I think now to film me. I did a little intro there talking about the Ether Bunny. Okay, there, the truck starts no problem. And I've sped it up 16 times. I got my glasses on so I can see in the corner of the screen that it's 16 times I've sped it up. Okay, so now I'm not sure what we're doing. We're letting the vehicle warm up. I think we're over cleaning off the screaming Ford, which is on the other camera. And I'll change out the screen for that, okay? Because we have 16 cameras in the kingdom to document everything. And uh, I think eight of them are for watching the dogs. Because when the dogs bark, we know which way they're barking or can see which way they're barking. So then we know if there's an intruder, an animal, or a thief, okay? Yeah, that's common everywhere. These days in the new world we live in, crime is out of control. It doesn't matter where you live, even in a gated community down by the tracks in Whoville. Okay, so the staff is back over at the green toy. I'm showing up. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm talking with her. Okay, now she's over in position. Look at that. Voom, voom. Yes, we haven't run the machine since January. And then we parked it there and then it kind of got snowed in. Okay, the staff's making me yell so you guys can hear it. The green toy hasn't run since January, so we'll get the ether bunny out because it is Easter. All right, let's see if it'll start.
Okay, this is camera 8 looking towards my neighbor's place so we can see what's going on down there. Plus it's the back way into the kingdom and the book burb is parked on the white snow so it doesn't get stuck. We can see the different colors of snow here, the dark snow to the white snow. So the dark snow will melt drastically. So in front of the shop doors and the hose shack there, the snow melts pretty good. Okay, I moved the book burb out of the way. The staff is on the screaming forward over here. Try the finger thing again. Look at her shovel away. Okay, so she's shoveling it off and then once she's got it done, oh, I gotta move the 39 out of the way. Okay, back it up, back it up. All right, getting my exercise today, walking, and you can tell we sped it up like the Benny Hill show. Okay, once everything is good, we run the air hose from the shop to the screaming forward to air up to release the park brakes, okay? And, okay, he's talking with the staff here. I think we're just about ready to go, so we're going to disappear for quite a bit here to go over to get the green toy up and running, okay? So we have to put the batteries in the green toy, and I think we're doing that right now. This should go very fast because we sped it up 16 times now. The minutes are just flying by like my honeymoon. Okay, there we go, the green toy. And then we hook up the chain. The staff is filming. She's up on the lumbar cross pole sleighs. We disconnect the air hose. There we go, out it comes. That was boring. Now we can put the batteries in and go for a test drive. Okay, so now we're going to drive off the screen and work on the Lynn tractor. You can see the 48 sedan delivery in the corner there. I'll try my finger again because it'll be a few minutes before we come back. Okay, there's the 48 sedan delivery right here. I don't know if it's working. My finger, I can't really hand and eye coordination. All right, there, I came back. Okay, look at that. We have to use a long chain on the 48 sedan delivery because we don't want to rip the bumper off. So the green toy is so high. We, if we had a short chain, it would pull the bumper up on the sedan delivery, okay? And that's one thing we got to put on that sedan delivery is better means of pulling or whatever, tow hooks or something like that. Okay, the Lynn tractor number two gave us problems when we were filming. There was a binding spot in the steering box. We've checked it like four or five times in the shop, outside the shop, and we're trying to figure this out. So use the green toy, lift it up in the air, and then we can turn the steering wheel right to left to see how the chain on the sprocket is working and the chains on the steering skis work. And we did find a binding spot on it because that steering box got smashed off numerous times, not long before I owned it. So we kind of did a fix in the shop there last uh, month, I guess it would be. Yeah, it was last month. We had to perform magic to get it to work and we did. There's YouTube videos on here on how we fix that steering box without a machine shop. And with the materials that we had in, in stock at the end of the world. Because you just can't order parts for these things. Okay, so now we're inside the cab. The staff is turning the steering wheel. I'm watching everything. We've come to the conclusion that the big sprocket only turns a half a turn. To make the skis go from one side to the other side. And there seems to be a little binding. Okay, because the shaft is bent. Okay, we couldn't correct that. That's the way it is. So what we did was we found a happy medium spot. For the chain to non-bind on the sprocket the sprocket so we're quite happy we're back and forth getting tools and once we get this finished oh look at that we have to do an intro i don't know what the staff's doing in the corner there probably checking her facebook to see if any boys are talking with her okay now what are we doing okay i'm back i think we let set the lynn tractor down okay yeah we're putting stuff away all right okay Yes, let's see what's going on here. The staff's back filming and I'm going to let the Lynn tractor down and then we pull ahead. Okay, we'll have to switch cameras here now. Okay.
only chrome in the kingdom. Okay, the sun is bright, the war the sun is warm. Oh god. Okay, let's try again. Okay, the sun is bright and it's warm, but the wind is chilly. So we use the green toy to lift up the lin number two here. And we put some wood under the skis here so they're not digging in the deep ruts. Of course you guys can't see anything because it's too bright and sunny with shadows. Okay. So in here. Okay. The shaft coming out of the steering box is bent. Okay, so we knew that when I put the sprocket on, but I welded it using the dial indicator or whatever and got it sort of right. So there's marks on the sprocket right here. There's one, two, and stuff like that. So we're having troubles with it binding because the sprocket is not round or angled or whatever. So we ended up turning it a quarter of a turn. Now the skis aren't jamming up or the steering's not jamming up. So it's kind of funny, you hang it in the air, turn it, and it feels no problem. But as soon as you drive it, you have a hard time turning it in that one spot, like you're just fighting with it. So hopefully we've corrected this problem, and that's the joys of having a green toy. We can lift it up and analyze it. All right, it's almost coffee time.
Okay, this is the part where we moved the Lynn tractor. I mean, the green toy I had from the Lynn tractor. We're going to work on these skis here. Okay, we got the skis here. They got two broken skis on the one side, but we have to remove the expensive chain and the, um, I would say, I'm not sure what they call them, but they're ratchet uh, load binders or whatever now. So instead of the old snap ones where you're pulling on it and you slip and your tie down pipe or whatever, your load binder pipe goes flying in the air. So what we're doing is lining up the skis on the lumbar sleigh so we can take the chains off and fix it maybe properly or put a cheaper cable on. Having $300 in transport 70 chains and ratchet load binders is a little pricey. So the staff's taking lots of pictures here. And then I'll go check out the Lynn. I'm not sure what we did next. The master switch. Okay, it's nice and bright and sunny here, just like when I skied at Aspen. Yeah, right, I couldn't even afford to gas for the mini bike to get to Aspen like those two fellas. Ooh, the dogs think it's walk time because we're quitting early today. We got the shop doors open, thawing the ice at the doors, but it'll be chilly tonight. So it's warm during the day, cold at night, but that's normal. We got the sleigh straightened out here. We got the green toy up and running, and we'll scroll this way. Okay, look at how bright the sun is and it's so high in the sky. Look at the flag of exercise. There's not a breeze. Just enough to make them happy. It's three o'clock and we started these already. Okay, notice it's the Budweiser. Not that Bud Light. I don't know what they're thinking with that advertising campaign. All right, let's go drink some beer and relax because it's the start of the long weekend. Talk to you later.